2021 Nissan Almera, final thoughts. We are optimistic that the new Almera will eventually make its way to the Philippines. Our market sources cars that are built sold in Thailand after all. Also, the Honda City, one of the Almera's rivals, is already here in the Philippines. That said, Nissan Philippines might want to catch up. Interestingly enough though, the Thai spec city, like the Thai spec Almera both have turbocharged engines. However, the PH spec version of the new Honda City is not offered with a turbo engine. That said, Nissan might do well to introduce the turbocharged 4th gen Almera locally as that might sway more buyers to the said model. Also, the more powerful 1.6 liter version is also a good option. It's definitely less complex than the turbocharged three-cylinder mill, so it might lessen production costs. It's also a bit more powerful than the 1.0-liter inline-three turbo engine. Note however that production streamlining is a thing, so there's still a high chance that the future PH spec will indeed get a turbo. 2021 Nissan Almera, expected price. Currently, the Thai spec 4th gen Almera's price ranges from 499,000 baht to 639,000 baht. That's a range of PHP 794,245 to PHP 1,017,079. Note that these figures don't take into account taxes, logistics costs, etc. As such, we can expect the upcoming PH spec Almera to be priced a bit higher than that. The Almera Sportic is a more stylish take on Nissan's subcompact sedan. If and when the all-new Almera does land here, should this variant come with it, we've been waiting for a while for the all-new Almera to land on our shores. It's been almost two years since the next-generation model made its debut in Thailand, but Nissan Philippines has yet to make any official announcement. In any case, if and when the car maker does decide to launch the all-new Almera on our shores, we reckon it should consider bringing this in too, the Almera Sportic. This is the top-of-the-line variant of the Almera that was just revealed in Thailand. It's a sportier version of Nissan's subcompact sedan, albeit only with aesthetic upgrades. The Almera Sportic has been given additional black exterior accents, specifically on the grille and fog lamp housings up front and on the bumper out back. This rear end also features a new spoiler as well as a Sportic batch. The car also has new silver side mirrors with turn signals, and it gets snazzier 15-inch alloy wheels. Thailand Compact Sedan Segment. As you might have guessed, it will eventually make its way to the local market. So what can we expect from this new Nissan Almera, 2021 Nissan Almera, exterior? When it was released, the fourth-gen Almera was well received. It looks much more modern than the current and previous versions, like the Nissan Almera 2014 for example, and it's better equipped too. For starters, it already comes with a pair of sharp-looking LED headlamps, LED taillights, as well as LED daytime running lamps. The front end also comes with Nissan's signature V-Motion grille, and the roofline is much sleeker than before. Apart from the better looks and exterior equipment, the new 2021 Nissan Almera is also larger. It is 4,495 mm long, 1,740 mm wide, and 1,460 mm in height. That means that it is 45 mm wider and 39 mm longer than the third-gen version. This might translate to better interior and cargo space. 2021 Nissan Almera, Interior. Just like the exterior, the interior of the fourth-gen Almera gets a makeover as well. Gone is the predominantly beige interior of the old one, and in its place is a more modern, black and white colored dashboard and seats. The new Almera also gains a new flat bottom steering wheel, as well as a new 8-inch touchscreen. The said head unit now comes with voice recognition, as well as an offline navigation system. The analog gauge cluster was also ditched in favor of a 7-inch digital one. Lastly, the round cluster of AC controls were also replaced by more conventional, but neater-looking AC controls. 
2021 Nissan Almera engine and performance. Overall, the 2021 Almera gets three engine options, all of which were co-developed by Renault and Nissan. The most interesting one is the 1.0-liter inline-three turbo, which could make up to 100 horsepower and 152 Nm of torque. This engine is then paired to a continuously variable transmission and power is sent to the front. Of note, the aforementioned power plant is the only engine available for the Thai market. As such, there's a chance that the future Philippine spec 2021 Almera might be getting this engine as well. However, there are other engines for the 4th gen Almera in other markets. There's a 1.5 liter inline 4 and a 1.6 liter inline 4. The latter is the same power plant available on the current PH spec Almera, and it can make up to 98 horsepower and 134 Nm of torque. It's paired to a 4-speed automatic gearbox or a 5-speed manual. The other one is a 1.6-liter inline 4 that can produce up to 118 horsepower and 158 Nm of torque. It's currently found on the Nissan Kicks. 2021 Nissan Almera Safety For safety, the new Almera definitely gets serious. The top variant in the Thai spec lineup comes equipped with six airbags, anti-lock braking with electronic brake distribution, among others. The icing on the cake for the new Almera, however, is that it's now equipped with the Nissan Intelligent Mobility Safety Suite. This means that it comes with an around view monitor with a moving object detection system, rear cross traffic alert, forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, blind spot warning, as well as hill start assist.